In this video, I'll take the integral of a vector valued function. So right off the bat, let's talk about this. If we have a vector valued function, r of t equals some function f of t times i, that's in the horizontal direction, plus some function g of t times j, that's in the vertical direction, then the integral of that, the integral of the vector valued function with respect to t would be the integral of the function f with respect to t and then times i, that's outside of all that, plus the integral of g of t with respect to t and then times j. So you can just pull those apart. All right, let's do that here. We're given that the velocity of an object is given by the vector valued function, v of t equals 2t i minus 6j. And then we're given an initial position of the object, s of 0, when time is 0. We are located, or the object is located at 4i plus 5j. So 4 units in the i direction, horizontal, and 5 units in the j direction. We're asked to find the vector valued position function for the position of the object. Okay, so let's remind ourselves that the integral of the velocity function equals the position function. Or another way of saying that is the first derivative of the position function equals the velocity function because the first derivative is that rate of change. So what we want to do to find the position function is find the is to take the integral of the velocity function. So let's do that here. S of t, that's the position function, equals the integral of v of t, which equals the integral of 2t dt, that's our, that's our f of t function. And then this is all being multiplied by i plus the integral of negative 6, because our function is negative 6, dt, and that's all being multiplied by j. Okay, these are pretty easy integrals to take, so let's do that. s of t now equals t squared plus the constant of integration times i plus negative 6t plus a different constant of integration times j. All right, we have, we have a general solution for the, uh, for the position function, but we want to get a particular solution because we are actually given this initial condition. So s of 0, we're given s of 0 equals 4 i. Well, let's do this. I'll plug in 0. I'll plug in s of 0. That's 0 squared plus c sub 1 times i plus negative 6 times 0 plus c sub 2 times j. Okay, and we're also told that that equals 4i plus 5j. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that all of these are going to be that simple, but what happens here is that 0 plus c1 equals 4, right? These two things have to be equal. And 0 plus c2 has to equal 5. So we get some solutions there. We get that c sub 1 equals 4 and c sub 2 equals 5. Now plug all of that in here and here. 
and we'll be left with our particular solution. So that is s of t equals t squared plus 4 times i plus negative 6t plus 5 times j, or in the j direction, in the vertical direction. So there's the position of the function at any given time t.